uh, but the sub interfaces here that we created fa0 dot slash I'm sorry fa0 slash 0 dot 13 has again encapsulation dot 1q 13 command which tells it that it is in VLAN 13 and and it has the IP address here which this is going to be your default gateway for hosts PC 1 and 3 you're going to have to set the default gateway pointing towards 13.1 and your other hosts uh, within you know on PC 1 and 3 you can give them another uh, IP address within this slash 24 submit as long as they have the default gateway set correctly they should you should be good to go also if we look at uh, sub interface 24 again fa0 slash 0 dot 24 we have the encapsulation dot 1q command under here and this is for VLAN 24 and as you can see here the IP address is 192.168.24.1 uh, this again is the default gateway for hosts PC2 and PC4 they can use any IP address within this slash 24 subnet range so again uh, router on the stick configuration how VLANs can talk to each other uh, through this pretty straightforward to do uh, using a, a router the only major drawback to this design is a single point of failure that will isolate all of your VLANs from talking to each other is from the switch the trunk interface from the switch to the uh, interface on the router so if that link goes down all your VLANs uh, in this case we only have two VLAN 13 VLAN 24 but as you may know you can have hundreds of VLANs and if hun your hundreds of VLANs are trunking across one single port to your router and your router is acting as a router on the stick uh, you're pretty much going to isolate all your VLANs from inter VLAN communication so uh, that's a major drawback with router on the stick so once again, I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos, and uh, I'm going to be coming out with some more switching videos here shortly, so I hope you join me with the next ones. Alright, bye.